Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Kamala's Cookies, and how are you guys doing today? Okay, so before I ask you guys, what should I do for my next cooking with Kevin? And a lot of you guys said, I should either do a gingerbread house, or do something Christmas. So I went out for a couple days to look for a gingerbread house kit, and unfortunately, they're all sold out of it. So then, I decided to make cake pops with my sister. I mean, that's something Christmas, right? So with no further hesitation, Here's Cooking with Kevin, making cake pops. First you gotta mix that batter, or I mean the cake mix in the bowl. Um, <clears throat> add like a cup of water and three eggs, I think. Milk, we use milk. Oh, I guarantee you, we do not have milk. Really? Yeah. I think you want something expired from three weeks ago. Okay, first you want to add in a cup of water. Milk. Or milk. Then three eggs. And get a whisk or something and mix it and mix it up. Might take a while. Okay, next you need a half a cup of vegetable oil. So just put that in there. And stir it up again. Now that you got all your cake mix into the pan and you got your oven preheated to the correct temperature, put your cake mix into the oven. Okay, now after that the cake is baked, you need to take it out and you need to crumble it. Just cut off. Cut around the edges with a knife. I've cut in little blocks just to cool it off. You use your hands, I already washed my hands, I'm just gonna use my knife and just kind of break it up. So, crumbling it. Crumbs, you want crumbs. Exactly what my sister said. You want it in crumbs, like no big blocks, this all crumbled. Kind of like sand, I guess you can say. It takes a while to do this. After you're done crumbling the cake and put it into a refrigerator so it cools down, get some icing and put the icing in the crumbles. You, uh, for like a container like this, which is about 450 grams, use about three quarters of it. So just use your hands and mix it all up. It might feel weird, but uh, it'll be good. As you can see, I put the icing in, and you just want to really mix it up until it's about even consistency. Okay, so once everything's all mixed up, you want balls. You want some balls like that. So what you what you could do is get an ice cream, like an ice cream scoop, and uh, scoop it up, put it in a ball. Uh, since we don't have it with us, we're using this. So what we're doing here is getting a nice scoop, then taking it out and mixing it up in a ball. So then they'll be all, all about equal size. Then put it on the tray, and then do that until you're all out of the dough. Are you recording me, Kevin? No, why? You're a creep. Oh my. Alright, now they have all these cake mix into little balls. You need to go put it in the fridge or the freezer and chill them. Okay, since we don't have uh, any measuring utensils, 
for our teaspoons, we're just gonna put some shortening in it, in the chocolate, in the white chocolate. Then we're gonna microwave it. You can use a stove to melt the chocolate, but we're just gonna microwave it because it's faster. For every ounce of chocolate, you need about eight teaspoons of shortening. No, one half a teaspoon. So we need four teaspoons? You're a child. Okay, the one. Every ounce of chocolate, you need half a teaspoon. We have a pound here, which is eight, 16 ounces. So we're going to use. Oh, okay. Eight I got it. I got it. So there's a pound of chocolate, so we need eight teaspoons. And we're just going to. Microwave. Inside time. Jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. What happened? Yeah, I put tin foil on there. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Double boiling it! I don't wanna make videos with you anymore, Sharon. I don't wanna make videos with you anymore either. No comment. Okay, since plan A failed, <laughs> oh, we use plan B. So boil water, have something under it to make it above the water. Let the water Smelt it pretty much. Okay, so we got the frozen or the chilled um, cake pops. Now we are coating them in the melted chocolate. We actually got the, the wrong white chocolate, so it's kind of a little bit too thick, but we'll make do with it anyways. What we did it was we got a uh, chopstick and we just Twirled it around the chocolate, and after you have all the cake pops covered in chocolate, you'd want to freeze them after or chill them. So we got our tray finished. Freeze this about for 15 minutes. Okay, so we put some red chocolate into a Ziploc bag. Try to pipe this design on it. So see how that works. So here's what the end results are. We tried to put a little snowflakes on it. Well, my sister did anyways. And they came out all right. This one's pretty good. They're all right. So if you guys want to try this, have any questions about it, just feel free to message me, leave a comment. And you guys enjoy.